How's it going, everybody? Uh, great to see you again. Episode 27 of uh, Alex Bromwich Presents, and uh, we uh, have had some great response from the videos again, so that's been really great. If you've been liking the videos, please give us a like, please share, please let your friends know about what we're doing here and uh, what I'm talking about. So today is the five growth tips, five growth tips that I have for using social media as a small business. And I did a bit of thinking because I got a question about how these apply into a B2C area and how these apply into a B2B area. For anyone who doesn't know, B2C is business to consumer, where you're selling products and services direct to consumers. B2B is when you're selling to another business. So those can often have two different contexts, particularly from a marketing point of view or a traditional marketing point of view. But I don't think that those really matter so much when we talk about social media. I think the mechanics of what you want to do are different, but obviously your target audience is different and then you need to tailor your content to your target audience. And that brings me to the number one item that I want to talk about. Number one is content volume. You need to create much more content than you're creating today. I've been trying to push myself to create more personal content than I do and often I'm struggling. I'm doing these videos and then I'm probably managing one other post on average a day. Now it's only two social media posts a day and that's across all the different channels. The maximum I think I managed to get up to was eight in one day and that was mostly using a lot of Instagram stories. That's not enough. If you really want to drive growth in your Instagram following, in your LinkedIn following, if you want to be able to get more of your brand messaging out there, you need to be producing at least sort of 10, 15 pieces of content a day. Now, they don't all need to be unique pieces of content. They can be very impromptu. They can be structured in an inverse pyramid. And we'll talk about the inverse pyramid, I think, in another episode but that's one that I think that you should really make it make a, an attempt for is that you should aim for much more content the other thing about volume that you need to consider is you need to consider a volume of platforms as well don't make the mistake of choosing one platform and trying to double down on it make sure that you spread it across the most relevant platforms are for you that, that are for you and also some of the ones that aren't because you can't predict how these things are going to go in the short term and it's better to be prepared than not knowing what's going on so that's one is volume of content number two is context and this is one that's been really interesting for me recently and something that I'm trying to work into what I'm doing and that's that <clears throat> when a user or a consumer consumes your content on a social media platform they will have a different context for that media depending on which platform they're using so this video that I'm recording now I post this onto LinkedIn and I post it onto YouTube as well now you can argue that it's pretty okay for that but really in the context of YouTube this is not the best sort of video content for me to put on there and it's unlikely to achieve good organic growth because of this. If I was putting a video together for YouTube, I should much better do sort of a weekly summation of what I've been doing with a lot of nice B-roll and a lot of nice intro text and things like that and some more graphics. That's much, more be that's much better for uh, YouTube. These videos don't do very well on Instagram, for example, and that's because they're just not good organic Instagram material. So you need to consider which platform you're on and what the context of the, the listener, the watcher, the, the consumer is for that platform, and you need to tailor your content that you're putting onto that platform to that person. A bit complicated, we're going to unpick it in a later video because I think it's a really interesting thing and it's something that I've seen evidence online of that can really help boost your following very quickly across the platforms once you much better contextualize your content to them. Number three, don't sell. Today on LinkedIn, I got a cold email from a guy, or an in-mail, whatever they call it, and he basically said, hey Alex, how are you doing? Uh, my company is a uh, blah 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 and we do blah 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 if you'd be interested check it out now I'm not going to respond very well to that it's a completely cold email their product and their service doesn't seem to have any relevance to me at all as an individual so I can't even understand why this guy decided to pick me out as someone that he was going to email and he's trying to sell me on the very first email without even really trying to engage with me in any way. 
if you want to be successful long term at building a business, small, medium, or even growing up to large, you need to create a relationship around your brand with your customers, current customers, keep their loyalty, but mostly you need to be attracting new customers and your brand is what's going to do that. And you don't build brand by selling. You can grow your business by selling, but that's going to be a short-term game. You need to use social media to build your brand so people understand what you stand for as a business, what you stand for as a brand, and then they can associate to that and then they can decide to be a customer. That's got to be your goal with all of your social media stuff is you're not wanting to go out there and push your product and your prices and your bundles down everyone's throat. You're there to push your values, the things that you stand for, the things that you care about down people's throat. And if they don't like it, great, they're not a customer for you. But the likelihood is that very quickly, if you take that approach, you will find the customers out there and they will start to come to your products without you even trying to sell. That's the power of good marketing and that's the power of branding. Number four, engage. Uh, You wouldn't believe how often you see people who are complaining. If you hang out in these how to grow your social media forums a little bit like I do, and you, you watch a lot of these sort of YouTube videos on how to grow social media and things, you wouldn't believe how many people you see complaining in the comments section of here about how they can't do get anything to work, they can't do anything. And one of the very popular responses from those that are that's successful is, how well are you engaging with the people who actually like your posts or comment on them or send you DMs? And quite often people will say, well, you know, I don't, I don't. If you don't engage with your followers that you have, with the people who have taken time to like and to comment on your posts and give you input, something which I really try and do, I always try and reply to all the comments that I get, then why would you expect them to keep coming back? You're not showing any interest in them. They've taken the time to write something to you. You should take the time to write something back. It's just common sense especially when you've got a very small channel and you need to grow it, that stuff is absolute gold. Those people are gold and you need to engage with them as much as you possibly can. You need to engage with your audience and the comments section and the DMs of the different platforms that you're using is exactly where you need to put that effort. So you need to be creating more content and you need to be responding and engaging with more of your followers as well. And then number five to wrap this all up, is experiment. Don't get stuck in a rut. Don't keep doing the same thing over and over again. If it's not working, change it up. Try and bring people in for an interview in your videos or try and change them to some sort of graphics. Bring some extra graphics in. Try and switch between pictures and memes, comics, whatever you think that you can try that helps you get the message across change it up, try it on the different platforms, move it around. You won't lose followers because you're publishing content that's different or so you're putting content out there that's different. You will lose followers by not putting enough content out there and also putting consistently boring content out there. So don't be afraid to experiment. So just to go down the five again that I've, that I've got here for you guys, volume of content, increase it as much as you can over 10 posts a day across all of the different media platforms that are important to you. Make sure that you consider the context of the content as well for the platform that it's in. Don't sell, don't sell. Stick to marketing messages based on your brand that you want to build. Build a relationship with people, not a sales transaction with people. Make sure that you engage with the people who follow and comment you. When you're only getting one or two followers, DM those guys and say thank you. And then number five, make sure you experiment so that you can try and find what really works for you, your voice, your brand, and your followers. Hope this has been helpful. Speak to you again tomorrow. Thanks very much, everyone.